Hello everyone, it's Michael from TV for Education and today I'm going to be talking about giving access in a very simple way. So giving access to content on your system. Okay, so these are the fundament fundamentals. It's very simple, very easy. Okay, and if you want to give access, there are certain things that must happen. So the first thing that must happen is for anybody to have access, they must exist in your system. So how do I check it? From the menu, you need to be logged in. You need to be able to have the patron option. From the patron option, you need to go to patron management. And this is where your students and your staff will exist. If they're not in here, they're not going to have access. So as an example, let me go and find Michael because he's complaining he doesn't have access. So I'll click on find and M-I-C-H. Just put in a first few letters of his surname or first name. Click enter and all the different Michaels and it's Mike Fernandez. He's complaining he doesn't have access. So you click on it and you bring him up. Okay. And so basically he can access the system. How does he access it? He must have either a barcode in there. OK, he must have a username. The username can be anything. It, my recommendation, make it simple. Make it the first name, full stop, surname, all in lowercase. So he can access it by the barcode or he can access by his username or he can access by his email address. OK, now when you've got that information, he needs to be in a class grade. So you need to choose what year level he's from. He needs to have a homeroom. We don't use that particularly for anything, but it's a mandatory field. So it needs to have a homeroom and then he needs to have a role. OK, now the role is for students. It will be a role of a student and for a teacher, it'll be role of a teacher. But if you're the administrator, you need to have the role of a librarian or the administrator. OK, it has to be one of those roles. OK, now you also do need to have a uh, password. So my recommendation is save that information. OK, and then go give them a password. So you go change password and the current password. My recommendation, make it all the same. P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D in lowercase. Validate P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. OK, and then just go change password. And then if you want to make sure that they can uh, log in with the word password, OK, and never change it. Just make change password on the next login. No. And then just go save. But if you want them to log in with password and then change it, just go change password on next login. OK, and you go save. Now, now that you've done that, this particular person can log in using the barcode, using the surname, using the email address, and he will have access to any content from year 10 and below. OK, and they can access it from home, from school, wherever they have an Internet access. They will need the school's URL, whatever that is. OK, and they can get in. Now, that's a long winded way to do everyone one by one by one by one. However, we can also import all the patrons by going into smart patron import. OK, but that's a totally different video. So we can import them all for you. So if you want to contact us at the bottom right hand side, you have a help button. You can talk to us about it. OK, or you can just go. I want to create a ticket so you can go to uh, uh, the help desk, click on mailbox. OK, and in the mailbox, create a support ticket and in the support tickets, I want to import all my patrons. OK, and then give them access from home. So adding patrons to the system, changing their access is very, very simple. OK, if you've got any issues, any question, you want to do it in bulk rather than you do it. Why not ask us to do it for you and we'll do that for you. So just to reiterate, for anyone to have access to the system, they must exist in your system in patrons, patron management, do a find and check them. If they don't already exist in the system, so if you do a find and nothing comes up, so if I go, okay, that's my name and says nothing on there, that's no problem. All you do is you just go new, gives you a blank screen, 
give us a barcode, make up a username, first name, surname, put in the email address, okay? Then choose the year level they're in, choose the homeroom, okay? And just make sure that they're a student if they're a student or they're a teacher as a teacher. And then save it, give themselves a password, make sure that they can't change their password if you don't want to change the password. If you're at prep school, everyone's password is the same. It's a password, that's fine, or whatever other word you want to give it, okay? But if you do want them to change it, you need to make sure you tick that so that they can then change their password on the next log. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much for this opportunity to show you how to set up a user and give them access. 24 hours a day, seven days a week from anywhere in the world on any device. Thank you.